Western medicine believes that autoimmune disease of all shapes and sizes is untreatable. And I want the listener to know that that is false. Mm -hmm. And so anyone listening to this podcast can look at my story, the work I do, your story, the work you've done, and the incredible contributions of many others in the space, which argue strongly against the fact that autoimmune disease is a, an unchangeable diagnosis. Autoimmune disease is not, is not something that we cannot modify. And we see this with the carnivore diet. Yeah. We see it with the Walls diet. And this is what is so exciting to me. And people who know my story will know that the reason I got interested in the carnivore diet was because of my own autoimmune issues and my own sort of fascination and obsession with understanding what is causing autoimmune disease. One of the things that I've heard you say that I completely agree with and um, I have arrived at pretty much the same conclusion is that so much of the chronic disease that we see in humans today is autoimmune. Yes. You know, yes. chronic inflammation and autoimmunity are essentially synonyms. Yes. And, and I'm formally trained in psychiatry, did my residency at the University of Washington. And it is not common practice within psychiatry to imagine that psychiatric illness is autoimmune. But we know this is the case, and I've talked about this, we won't go down this rabbit hole today. There's so much brain inflammation and brain autoimmunity with depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia. It's all so similar. All of the diseases we see have so many commonalities, and my story, your story, highlight that the biggest lever that we have here is diet and lifestyle, and that's really what this podcast is all about. And so, again, for the listener, autoimmune disease is fixable. It's totally fixable. And so mm -hmm. if you have multiple sclerosis, if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, if you have psoriasis, eczema, like I did, depression, anxiety, these are likely, auto, these are autoimmune diseases that are malleable with diet and lifestyle. And so the other thing I want to yes. highlight is that you developed MS after, I believe you said 20 years of a low fat vegetarian diet. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So many of the clients that I see who have autoimmune disease will go to practitioners and are told, avoid meat, go on a plant-based diet. Yeah, but yeah. I just want to highlight, and I don't know that it's, as a carnivore, well, as someone that I, advocates I for a carnivore diet. Yeah. 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 I, I think they were connected. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I interesting. Agree. And as someone that advocates for a carnivore diet, part of the hypotheses that I advance is that plants can trigger autoimmunity. So how interesting is it that a low fat vegetarian diet, which is something that is very in vogue these days and many mm -hmm. physicians would mm -hmm. advocate for yeah. you both you and i believe was connected with the development of your autoimmune yeah. syndrome yeah yeah, That's yeah i think it was 